Sometimes it can be hard to find good vocalists to create background vocal to our track. If you're used to be in that situation, don't worry, I have a good solution for you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create dope background vocal for your track using Moises AI. Let's have some fun. Before we get into creating the background vocal, let's take a look at the platform. You can check for yourself by clicking the link in the description box. When you open Moises AI, on the left side, you see all the services available on the platform. We have track separation, voice studio, um, mastering, which is you can mastering your track using AI, lyrics wider. This one is for song wider. And then you have plugins. I'm going to get back to this one specifically because they give me early access to the stems plugin and I'm going to get back to this one. Let's get back to track separation. This one can definitely be helpful. For example, if you created a beat and you love the melody line and then you don't love the drum pattern and you for some reason lose the project you can go and then separate the drum and then the melodies and you can create new drum pattern for this track and also if you created a drum pattern that you like and then you want to use it in other beat you can definitely export the stems and use the element that you want let's demonstrate that real quick um you go to add or you can just drag something right here i am gonna use one of the beat that i recently created boom we have it and then next we click on next you can select how you want the stem separation to be first choice is for track vocal drum bass and order you have vocal drum bass order i5 you have vocals and instrumental you are vocals instrumental at five i find mean high fidelity the highest quality you can get those one are available only in the pro plan if you want to get the highest quality stem separation you need to go with the pro plan you are vocal background vocals and instrumental you can choose the one that you want but for me i think i'm just gonna go vocals drums bass piano and order let's go submit and now the AI is analyzing it and then process it. Track has been successfully created. Now we have it right there. Boom. That the drums. That's the bass. And if we add orders, this beat don't really have vocal in it. I think we have some vocal chop. They are not really clear, but let's see if they are. That's so cool. That's a good job. <laughs> Another thing, they give you uh, information about the BPM and also the key of the beat or the song so you can even find the chord so yeah that's the chord i can remember i will set it drop this tutorial again check and then see the chord it is the same chord that's crazy And let's go directly to the plugins. If we go to the plugin, you will see that we have a plugin that calls stems. They give me early access to the stem plugin. On this stem plugin, you don't even need to leave your data. That means inside of any data that you're using, you can just load the stems um, plugin and then extract your vocal. If you want to extract stem from a sample for anything inside of your data, you can do it easily. Let me just show you how you can do that inside FL Studio. We go add and then let's use the plugin stems loading and one thing that i definitely love with this plugin when you first install the plugin and then they ask you to synchronize it with your account that means every stem separation that you did in the past they will appear right here for example the chill alphabet i have it there that is definitely so cool you can create a new separation it is definitely the same process you just drag the sample and then you process it so simple like that you see that i have everything right there drag them to my da even when i didn't upload this one on the plugin remember we did this same separation on the platform on our browser and now 
once we synchronize everything we have all track separation that we did before and that is very cool now let's get back to the platform the next thing is voice studio this is where we're going to create the background vocals i'm gonna get back to this one later let's go to mastering for mastering you can definitely master your track your song your beat if you want to upload your beat on youtube or send a beat for preview for an artist you really need to the bit to sound loud one thing to mention is that it is better to have a good mix when you are using this mastering tools cause if your mix is trash the mastering will not be able to fix all the problems that your mix has click on this one and then let's drag something and then you can have the preference you can go and then select the platform that you want if you want to apple music amazon deezer you can just select spotify loud and you're gonna be good we have a lyric writer this one is basically for songwriter if you want assistant when you're writing your song you can definitely go do this one and then the last thing is gonna be plugin everything is not out yet for download you will have the mastering the voice studio and then this term as plugin that means you can access them inside of your data that means is very very interesting now let's get back to the voice studio so we can start creating these background vocals i think it is safe to say that every human being has his own vocal timbre and more is this somehow use a sophisticated technology so you can do tone transfer that means i can record something and then go to moises to voice studio and then select one of the vocal available on the platform and use one of the vocal to replace the original vocal and also if i am working on a song i can definitely create background vocal even create a full song using one of the vocal when you are using the moses pro plane it's come with kit and one you have those two vocal and it is important to mention that those vocal are words if we when you buy another vocal for example if you want to try lauren when you buy it, the money go directly to the vocalist and it is royalty free. That means the vocalist get paid and you can use the vocal and it is royalty free. Now let's say we select Lauren. You can definitely see the equipment they use to record the vocal. You have the UAD7 and then the SM57. Those are OGs. Great microphone. Every good OG engineer know about those microphone. And the room they were recorded on are well treated room and the vocal are high quality there's different scenario that you can use the voice studio you can create background vocal if you're a producer and you want to drop your ep for example an ama piano ep you can create everything drop the vocals and then you can select those artists make them feature and then create a nice project now it is time to see an action and then do some tone transfer i'm gonna use a song that i created lately Here it is. It's a pretty simple beat and then we have my vocal i'm not a good singer so you have to know that too i'm gonna export those vocal make sure that you use high quality vocal comment all and then we export them let's go to music let's export the right there let's give me love test let's call it like that and then we export boom and then we can go to the voice studio and let's create our first voice conversion let's select this one and then we go to music give me a lot of tests and then i'm gonna i'm not gonna leave this automatically i'm gonna use the same pitch and let's use uh julia for this one boom process vocal gonna take some time and process it those are some tests that i did recently and they were good nice okay now we have the original vocal give which is love, this one give me love give me love baby yeah. and then now we have julia give me love give me love give me love baby yeah. And if you want to add another one, let's say that uh, we can use uh, Derek, remove the automatically one, and I need to add at least three so we can do background vocal and then choose one as the main vocal. Let's choose Lauren 
and boom we have them now that's good once we have all the vocal process we can drag them in our DAW and then use them how we want it give me love give me love give me love baby uh. hey oh yeah baby uh. hey oh yeah my baby give me love give me love give me love baby uh. hey and that's oh, yeah. Lauren. give me love give me love give me love baby uh. hey Oh, yeah, baby. Now I'm going to download them and go back to FL Studio and see what I can do with them. Give me love, give me love. Let's download this first one. Let me download to um music. This one, the first one. Give me love, give me love, give me love, baby. Yeah. Hey, oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Nice. Hey, oh yeah. Baby, give me love, give me love, give me love, baby. Ah, sorry. What do I have there? Give me love, give me love, give me love, baby. Hey, oh yeah, baby. Hey, oh yeah, my baby. Give me love, 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 baby. And we can add this one. Give me love, give me love, give me love, babe. Give me love, give me love, give me love, give me love, babe. Give me, give me love, give me love. Let's say that we have this one as our main vocal. Give me love, give me love, give me love, baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Hey, we can go and add some reverb. You can use your reverb, add reverb. Give me love, give me love, give me love, baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Or if you want, definitely want to use them as a background vocal, we can go to double and. Give me love, give me love, give me love, baby. Yeah. <laughs> This one goes to four and then let what this other one's to four two. So we will uh, give me love, give me love, give me love, baby. Uh. <laughs> hey, oh yeah, baby. Uh. Now you have your hey, background vocal. Oh yeah, my baby. Uh. Give me love, give me love, give me love, baby. Uh. Hey, oh yeah, baby. Uh. Hey, oh yeah, my baby. Uh. That's it. You can definitely see how it works. And those tone transfer are very impressive. And one thing I love about music, you see that they are still working and they will drop those plugins that's gonna be very helpful when you have the plugin inside of your DAW. It's gonna make everything easier for every single one of us. I think at some point I'm gonna drop a song using one of those vocal cords. They are nice and I will share it with y'all guys. So that's basically it. It is very, very, very and very impressive tools. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope now it's easier for you to create good background vocal for your track using Moises AI. Don't forget to check out Moises AI using the link in the description box. If you have questions, please leave a comment down below and see you in the next one.